Welcome back to my let's play of Dangarampa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last part, we finished the investigation and now we are going to find out who killed Tenko and Angie. Yeah. Excuse me, that's gross, but I'm keeping it in. Um, skills actually, because I, did I get any new skills? I don't think so, I have six things to buy. So I want to see if there's anything good. I can't buy any of those. Um, oh, Mind's Eye, reveals V point. Labyrinth's Glare, instantly silences loud voices. Effective during the mass panic, but okay, that might be good. First strike, the keyword is the first speaker's argument. And the first speaker's argument will be shown from the start. Um, just a peek. Oh. Um, okay, I might do the, um, what was it, the mass pan, no, the, yeah, mass pan, bait this one, um, just to have it, because, yeah, anyway, um, I think that's all I can do, hopefully this time, unlike last, class trial, it will not, my controller will not fuck up the screen, because that really threw me off last time. Okay. Okay, it looks good. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is, and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. <clears throat> so Excuse you me. better vote for someone. If there's a little sore, so you might hear that a lot. Now, smiles, everyone! It's showtime! Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway! Okay. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm gonna be much help this time. When are you help? I feel like someone's gonna say that. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. Oh. Next time! Less time fixing your hair and more oh. time investigating, spaceman. Shit. Shut up. I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. <laughs> oh. Who did it? Who killed Angie and Tenko? Yeah, she. <sighs> She's going to be pissed this trial. Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. Yes, there may be. Also, I'm still very sus of you, actually, so... So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Oh, God. Hmm? What do you mean? The transfer student. <laughs> don't You don't need to say it like a ghost. Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Okay, I highly doubt that. Because wouldn't they have to be here? Right? To participate? Correct? Stop it! Stop making oh, stuff geez, up! You're, you're gonna throw him off. Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess <laughs> if this keeps going on. Yeah, time for us to step up. Is it even possible for a revived corpse to be the culprit? Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear that up. Okay, let's see. Markham Halfrey and FUGs. This crime oh, was committed by the recently deceased. I don't think so. They came back to life and killed two of our classmates. Who killed them? No! <laughs> so, ritual did work? Come on, I said stop. Who was resurrected, I wonder? Angie did say she was going to bring Rantaro back. Guys. <laughs> Yes, 
Rentaro was resurrected. I don't think so. The culprit is the late Rentaro Amami. No. Please stop it. Should we say something? What do you say? This isn't about believing in reviving the dead. I have to focus on their statements. I know the ritual didn't succeed. There should be evidence to support that. What do we have? This the crime was committed by the recently deceased. Economic okay, They on. came back. FEGs. The four wax FEGs that were created for the resurrection ritual, they are exact replicas of the late Rentara, Kaede, Rayoma, and Kurumi. They were hung upside down from the ceiling beams in the ultimate artist's lab, and then... Oh god, I got here. Um, a book Monokuma prepared as a motive. Angie attempted to carry out the book's resurrection ritual. The Necronomicon resurrection ritual, prepare an FEG of the dead soul you wish to contact, everyone may participate. The size and shape of the FEG is irrelevant. Make out whatever material you wish. It is not obvious who the FEG is supposed to be. Label it with the name of the deceased. After repairing the FEG, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes of the FEG and repeat it. And then... Okay. To life and kill two of our class I don't know what to hit, but I know I have to use that because... How can you sprinkle so, the ashes of the Necronomicon? Did work? Is it that? Oh, it is. <laughs> That's wrong! Yeah, because how could you sprinkle the ashes of the Necronomicon if we still have the Necronomicon? I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. Yeah. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us, you have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. After preparing the FG, okay, yeah, I just read that. <laughs> yep. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Which means it's not a dead person who killed them. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Probably not. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Hmm, then why are you freaking out about it? Now hold on a second! Oh. I can't let that comment stand! What? Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy! As long as you use the Necronomicon! But we, we know she didn't. What are you talking about? Oh god. There's no way that's possible. But it's true. I never lie about motives. So is he saying that if Andrew did use a Necronomicon, Rantaro would have came back to life? Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally because possible. Because if that is true, what he's saying, then I feel like this supports my this is all like a Neo World program VR simulator thing, and that the dead people aren't really dead. Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. You should have let me use it to bring Monodum back to life. My dad, he's already alive. Monodum is still alive. Though. And it's the other two. Well, honestly, I don't really give a shit about, so I'm glad they're dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste the resurrection on Monodem's corpse. Monodem's gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I'm okay with that. Oh? So resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time? There's no way it's possible! There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Yeah. Let's hurry up and find out who the Blackened is. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Yes, and I'm looking at you. Who? Who did it? Step aside, Half Pint! Oh. I'll handle this! Okay. I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie! It's funny, because I'm actually the opposite. <laughs> like, I don't know about Angie, but I'm pretty fucking sure Kyo killed Tenko. <laughs> what? Why? I mean, maybe he killed Angie, too. Or both of them, I don't know, but... Don't play dumb with me, creep show! I already know what happened! No. Oh. 
Our last from Park. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. What was um? Move to count. Oh, okay. Angie had locked herself in the ultimate artist lab, working on the ritual. She would not unlock the door unless someone asked her to. Okay, so it might be that. And it was found in Keo's research lab. I mean, yeah, in cage. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. This is suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. That's also true. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. Did he care that much? I did not care about some katana. Did not care. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. <laughs> shit-eating worm. I went to the classroom, broke in, and murdered the fuck out of Angie. Did he really break? Oh, break in. Oh yeah, I'm a fucking genius. I think it's our last front door then. If Corkio really is the culprit, does that story fit with the facts of the case? At the very least, there's no way he could have forced his way into the room. Yeah. The culprit used a katana. To kill Angie. And it was found in Keo's research lab. But you were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it. You shit-eating worm. You went to the classroom, broke in. No, I meant to murder the fuck out of Angie. Yeah, yeah. 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 There it is. Okay. <laughs> I was clicking, clicking the wrong button. I think the I was almost broke a lot. Um. Classroom broken. Oh shit! Oh, okay, yeah, oh, oh, it was um. I was wrong. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. The I'm culprit used a katana to kill Angie. Okay. And it was found in Keo's research lab. Mm -hmm. Which makes you Keo automatically suspicious. But yes. anyone could have taken that katana, you see. She had a rusty katana with the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shitty worm. You went to the classroom. Broken. B. Yeah. That's wrong. There we go. I knew it was one of the two. No, Keo would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Mm. Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. Which Keo is not. And Keo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Keo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. I had no desire to kill her in the first place. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? I, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. <laughs> I can't believe you actually got it. That's a little shit. Oh, how clever. Oh, oh Gonta. You can just ignore her, Gonta. <clears throat> yes. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, and Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. I trust their friendship. You guys do too, right? Why well, do I feel like he's implying the opposite? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. No. Oh. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. You mean one of those two people. Because a robot ain't people, Jack. Oh. <laughs> I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? What abs? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well? No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Yeah. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Hey, stick up for me too. Gonta definitely not oh, is hurt it anyone. Be the, um, torture Gonta if you don't mask believe. Panic debate or whatever to free. Torture might yeah. be a bit too far, but Gonta and I aren't the culprits. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. 
go I'm to not the culprit. I'm not the culprit. Okay. Half tank base. We must consider other possibilities. Gentlemen, not betray student Whoa. council. That's utterly impossible for last night. Going to in room, talking to bug friends. Bug friends. Much better than being out too late at night. Out too late, only student council members. I didn't know robots told such boring lies. Oh. Is that a robophobic remark? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> but I think I know what you do. There are several suspicions statements by the most odd. Yeah. We must consider other possibilities. Surely there must be a suspect will not be in oh. council. That's utterly impossible. Not just anyone could open that door. Uh, Only student council members have access. Oh shit! No! I missed it. Oh my, I missed twice in a row. There we go, okay. I heard it! Yeah. Because. Lock picking, which I, I get. I know it's not him. No, I know we just need to go through the motions and all that. It wasn't just student council that could have opened that lab yeah. door. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? I was referring to Kyo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Yeah. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Here he's pulled out the needle and sucked them into the keyhole of the lock. Then, quick, quick, quick. Black. There, open oh, those, yeah. Oh, that happened? <laughs> I totally <laughs> forgot. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, I did it. What? I killed Angie. No. No. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so you and Sweet just like, yeah, no. Wait, what? What did you just say? Are people really gonna believe this? I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then wham! Killed Angie. No. The culprit was me all along. What what? No. What are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. And it helped. I feel so much better. <laughs> Whew! Wait, so Kokichi really is no. culprit? No. No, he's lying. Yeah, I think. no. <laughs> Maybe? He's lying. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. No. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside? No. That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. Oh. They used a different method. What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. Uh, <laughs> there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was... Um, last? Uh, That's it. Okay. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't hundred percent sure. The back door. I know we focused a lot on the That's back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock. Yes. How was it locked from the outside? The culprit used a certain tool. The tool that the culprit used was 
block sign lock from the outside. It was a katana, right? Because it had a gold leaf on it. Oh, oh, frick. Um, um, count. Oh, is this it? Yeah, okay. I'm glad I found it pretty fast. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, shit, whoops. There we go. Oh, I didn't even see anything else there. The gold leaf katana that was stabbed in yeah. Kaede's effigy. The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. Yeah. So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. Okay, it, am I stupid? Because I, I knew the katana had to touch the lock at some point. But how I don't get how they were able to hit it and then lock it and then have them be out of the the gold leaf on that katana room. did peel rather easily. Am I stupid? Hmm. But I don't the really understand this. A bell. Specifically, a school. Hey, bell. that's a reference. I get it. Huh? Are you talking about a different yeah. school? Yeah. Peak. Oh, right, we're not in Hope's Peak! I just realized that! Right? This is, what, the Ultimate Academy or something? We're not in Hope's Peak! Oh, shit, I just... I <laughs> like, oh, it took me to, like, the trial in the third chapter for me to finally realize that. Now, now, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. Yeah. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? Yes. But wait, how did they move it with the katana? That, and yeah, see, that's why I don't get either. Lab. The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. It was an odd setup after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. Yeah. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? A different purpose? What could that have been? The culprit somehow you the set up to lock the room. In that case, I need to know the reason behind every step that set up. I do that, the way the clubber locked the room should be clear. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, oh. This is so weird, like... I mean, it's cool and I like the design and everything, but like it, it's so, the background's so distracting. Like, <laughs> like you want to look at the like signs and like everything else, but you know, obviously you pay attention to what I'm actually doing. Who, who turned the handle of the sliding lock? Um, what? Oh, what turned the handle? The katana. Yes. Let's turn the handle to the bottom line. It's a ton. Ooh! I think he's done. Oh, it's kind of still. Oh! <laughs> I'd like to be keeping the hit like hit girls and they just like come in our car. Next question. Oh, 
What her? What? Done to the. Oh fuck! Damn it, he was. Oh fuck! Whoop. What was done to make the katana turn to law? Oh fuck, there we go. Oh shit, whoop. What was done to make the katana turn to law? Stab into the effort. Wait! Did they, um. Like. I don't know if that. Like, did they, like. Move, move the effigy? To. Wait, I don't know how they would do that without, without not being in there, though. Oh shit! Ooh, sound. Crap. Um. FUG manipulated. How is FUG manipulated to make the katana affect the law? I don't know. So some other FUG hit. No. Wait. Oh. Oh. Spin. It. Oh. Spin. Spinning it. Okay. Cause I'm like, wait. Okay. If the katana's into effigy, and it hit the lock, but the if they spun the it, stuck the it the could effigy. hit it, right? Putting out close. Was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. Yeah. Effigy spun. Oh, yes. That's right. If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. Then, if you let it go, the rope would unwind and the effigy would spin the other way. And of course, the katana would spin with it. I see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? Yes. The culprit simply needed to spin the effigy's rope, and then swiftly leave. This would cause the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. And thus was the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. Yes, that's how Angie's lab was locked. Okay. By using the effigy with the katana, a clan born from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us! Yes. Oh, but could it have moved the slide box so easily? Yes, because we tested it, right? And you just like lightly tapped and it moved. The sliding lock was pretty loose. Yeah. A little push <clears throat> to move it. Pretty loose. As long as the spinning katana hit the lock, it would have slid into position. Even if the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying until it locked. Oh. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at nighttime as to avoid detection. Okay, smart. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at nighttime. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? Um, sort of. I didn't say that. <laughs> but she was thinking it. In any case, the culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. It had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. The culprit couldn't find a blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. Mm. The other effigies were only hung up, so we think it was some kind of ceremony. Yeah. That way, we wouldn't notice the Which means the lock they had a lot of time to do, like, to spare. But... 
Kokichi did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility. Oh. But I can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. Yeah. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually... It's a lie. Seriously? You fucking lied again? Yes, he did. <laughs> Cough it up, Kokichi! Oh. Oh, man. You guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. <laughs> I like how disappointed he sounds with that. You're telling the truth this time, right? Yes. I want to say I'm lying, <laughs> but I'm not. Why did you say you were the culprit? I wanted to lure the culprit out. Yeah, I, I figured it was something like that. Or we're just trying to fuck around, I don't know. But, if I yeah. claim to be the culprit, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? Mm-hmm. And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted in on my plan. Oops. <laughs> you and your fucking lies. Oh. Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. Okay, madam. You know. Okay, I'll start right now. Oh. Um. All right. So, who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? You. I can't hold it up <laughs> what? anymore. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh no! What's the matter? You go. Oh my god! On me now? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Honestly, I love their interaction. As disgusting as it is, I, I, I do love it. Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. Okay. Don't you I like we're just understand something as basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> again. Again. He is my child. <laughs> you filthy cum dumpster. Love it. Cum dumpster! <laughs> <sighs> it's great. I, I love it. Finally! Someone finally called me a cum dumpster! Oh <laughs> okay. What should we talk about now? <laughs> Gun just like, let's just move the subject along. We must focus not on the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Only one of the student council members or Kokichi could have gained entry. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. Mm. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. Well, we kind of just established it wasn't Kokichi because he said he was lying about being the culprit. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student oh. council. Doesn't matter if she was besties with Angie. She's <clears throat> still a suspect. That contradicts what you said earlier. Yeah. Which I can prove using my recording function. Oh, are we doing this again? It's fine. That's just a waste of time. Yeah. Me? A suspect? I... Never kill Angie! Yeah. So, calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? I want to hear everyone's opinion. What would you say to get yourself off the suspect list? Uh, I would say alibis, but I'm pretty sure no one has on it. Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect too. <laughs> Silence, outsider. Only the suspect rangers are allowed to speak. <laughs> suspect rangers? S suspect rangers? I agree. Those under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. We might catch them with their pants down! No. Anyway, I want to ask the suspect rangers. What should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect list? Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that's sort of a difficult question, you know? Yeah. Gonta not smart enough to <laughs> no answer to that. 
Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. Not articulate with words, huh? Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? Hmm. They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting... Why did Tanko have to die? Oh... Huh? Oh, no. I want to know what happened to Angie, too, but... Can we talk about Tanko's case now and not just Angie? <laughs> I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. We gotta figure out who killed Angie. Until we solve Angie's case, Tenko's case is meaningless. Did you suggest that to waste our it's time? It's not meaningless! Oh, yeah. I was gonna say this is gonna be the part where we found that Himiko did really care about Tenko. Himiko? Tenko's death was meaningless? How dare you! Poor Tenko! How could you do this to her? H Himiko. Yeah. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. No. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think she's lying. Everything you said is total BS. Oh, shit. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. I mean... But now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? I... I, I mean, I, I mean, I get that. I get why it would look suspicious, because Himiko didn't give, like, like you said, two shits about her. And... I mean, I think she really did care about her, but, like, it's what Tengo said, like, before she died. She's like, it's okay to show your emotions. And Himiko obviously was hiding that, like, since the start. So I think now with Tenko dead, it's kind of, like, revealing that she really did care about her this whole time. But, yeah, I, I get why it would look a little bit suspicious. Kokichi, enough! No, it's okay. It's no surprise he'd think that. Mm. I know I ignored Tanko before. But yeah. that's why I'm so upset now. Yeah, you don't know what you have till it's gone. I should have faced Tanko. Worked things out with her while she was still alive. But now it's too late. I can't complain to her. Oh. I, <laughs> I can't complain to her. Yeah, seriously. It's way too late to realize that now. No. Our only option is to face her death head on. Yeah. Face her death? Himiko, I understand what you're going through. How? So I'm going to help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. I'm not going to let anyone say her death didn't matter. K Kaito. All right, I'll put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tanko's death meaningless. <laughs> the name of the curse is... Whoa! Death curse! Oh, okay. I, um, suppose being dead would silence someone pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that could work. Listen up! All you guys are gonna help out, too. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. Yeah. That's just as bad as a hit and run. No. I won't forgive something so messed up. Tenko was our friend. Going to want to know why she died too. I already told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. I mean, since since the I guess this trial is only about Angie's death and Angie's killer. I think maybe we should focus on Angie's killer first, figure out who that was, and then maybe after that move on to Tenko's? Just to like get closure and everything, but... No, even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko yeah. died. Like maybe after we find out Angie's 
culprit and all that. We don't find out who killed her. We won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. No, okay. Even Where's if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive, we need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. Okay. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on! Kaito. Finally, you noticed. Oh, uh, what? Jeez, you're so slow. <laughs> what? Huh? Did Kokichi want us to notice? Don't listen to his crap. <laughs> we haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. Yeah. Let us talk about Tenko's case then. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. Yeah, maybe. They're not wrong, but... I don't mind going over Tenko's case. But... That was an abrupt change of topic. Was that intentional? So, what do we talk about first? For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. Mm-hmm. Ken Crouch probably got killed during the seance, so Ten everyone Crouch. there's suspicious. Yeah. Ten Crouch! Oh. <laughs> the people who attended the seance. Oh, what? Oh. Um, Kyo, Shuichi, Himiko, Shuichi. That's it! I, I don't know why we had to answer that. I felt like that was pretty it obvious. It was me, Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits! Okay, well, not all of us are, but suspects, maybe. Oh, Himiko's still culprit? <laughs> oh, shit. Sh yeah, she's she's in both groups. Oh, shit. That doesn't look well for her. Well, that's probably just a coinky dink. The most suspicious out of the four is really... Kyo? Kyo. He suggested the whole seance idea. There? Okay, see, now we're on my mind track. True. I may have suggested it, but I explained the procedure beforehand, yes? Yeah. If we all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. I mean, I guess, but... Well, I suppose... But... Yeah, I still don't trust you. In addition, the seance wasn't entirely in my control either. No? Oh. I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. Oh shit, did she? However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Uh, the middle room. The middle room always best for stuff like this. Oh shit, yeah. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. Yeah, the... Oh, right. I mean, yeah. Also, we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. Oh, the hole? A point of entry from outside? You must be referring to... Um... The hole. There! Yeah. You're talking about under the floor, right? Oh, or... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh? Under the floor? Yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring mm, that, room. That's what I was trying to click, but... Yeah. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Another suspect? Who? <laughs> it's appearing before me. What? Oh, I can see it clearly. The true identity of Tenko's killer. Are you looking in the mirror? Oh, what? Oh. How are we doing? Um, the flash, culprit light. sneaked in during the seance okay. by crawling around. under the floor. Okay. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Hard floor too. There were because no it oh. wasn't dark under the floor. You see, 
Our villain had a light. Light? Candle. You mean candle? I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Kibo? Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said, hold on a second. When we use the seat after the board, the, the boards. Hold on a second. It's true that, that with little light you could move around the floor. But thinking about that room, I don't think it would be possible to light in the floor. Yeah. The culprit sneaked in during the seance. It is true. Black by crawling thing. under the floor. Um, but it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? It might be that, our villain. Had I a light. mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get un. Uh -huh. oh. Nope, whoops, okay. I wasn't sure which one it was! I was wrong! Okay, I'm gonna click the other thing then. The culprit sneaked in during the seance. No nope, wrong. Okay. Crawling under the floor. I can even see if they were under the floor. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see. Oh, Had a light. Oh, what? Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I have no idea where this one. The um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen again because I clearly don't know <laughs> what it is. By crawling under the floor. Mm -hmm. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Kibo. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said, hold on a second. He used his robot functions to commit the murders. Hold on a second. Okay, maybe it's one in the corner, actually. Because <laughs> there are only two things to hit, and I just used both of them. The culprit sneaked in during the seance. I think it was a me that crawling though. under the floor. Only more for that. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under oh. the floor and sneak into the empty room during the sale. Oh, shit, I missed it. Wait, hold, I loose said, floorboard. hold on a second. Hang on. I need to look at stuff now. Um, the loose floorboard right below Tenko. It was not loose before the drag blood. No, I think it's the, um... Oh shit. Uh, what was the other thing? Hole in the corner. A hole was there in the corner of the room in the sand hotel. There is space on the floor so you can see what was. So there's space. Yes, we would see. He the used light. his robot functions to commit the murders. Okay. Hold on a second! Okay. The carpet sneaked in during the fence. By crawling under the floor. I'm still pretty sure it's what Miu said, so I'm going with that. I can even see the end of the floor. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see. Light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor. Fuck! No! Okay, you Damn. know what? Damn, I suck today. It the is culprit not my sneaked in. Okay, I guess it's pure something. How could they even see the light? Because it wasn't dark. You see. Oh, there we go. That's wrong. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't think the culprit could have used a light while under the floor. There was a hole in the corner of the room. Mm. If a light were used, it would have leaked through, and we would have seen it. Yes. But. When we did the seance, the room was definitely pitch black. Hmm. So a light was not shined under the floor, which means you cannot claim I am Yeah, especially Kibo's. His thing went like a fucking, like, spotlight. Like, we definitely saw that. Jeez. Here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. 
You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now <laughs> simply because I am a robot. Yeah, a little bit. My status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. All right, all right, you made your point. God, <laughs> now I feel sort of bad for you. I neither want nor need your pity. Oh. Enough with the flashlight! It's way too bright! You would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Yeah. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. Then why was Floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? Yeah. It definitely has something to do with the Floorboard. Going to think that was so Culprit could stab Tanko from under floor. Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? Uh-huh. Thank you. Oh. Don't say it like that. <laughs> You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Yeah. Maybe they marked Tenko with glowing paint and looked for that. Ha! Huh? No. That'd let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. That's a reference I get. And you should all get too. That sounds really familiar <laughs> too. <laughs> yep. But I'm just gonna ignore it. Her corpse didn't have any trace of glowing paint though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then why was that floorboard loose? The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? Correct. If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit! We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? Which is? What other issue? Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. During the thud during our song. That's exactly when she died. When? So not I have no doubt about seance? that. Tenko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? Mm-hmm. How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. No. That's not possible. She was alive at that point. Yeah. This the point no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I will not say a word until the sense is over. Yeah. Yes. She was unmistakably alive when the seance began. That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back... The floorboard was removed at that point. So it's likely she was already dead then. Hmm. So she was killed when the room was dark? But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it impossible to kill her then. Then she wasn't killed when the room was dark. It was a different time. <sighs> no, that's the only time. A different time? How the fuck should I know? You figure it out, shitheads. Huh? Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. No. Now hurry up and think! If you want to make my golden brain tingle, start circle jerking your limp dick brains! Okay. Iron <laughs> Cage, White Sheet. When Tenko got killed, I feel like it's White Sheet because I had the blood on it. It wasn't during the seance. But somehow. It could not have been done at any other time. Hmm. She was under the cage the whole time. What if she got she out? She was dead when the cage was lifted. Maybe they left. I don't know. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. What about moment cage was lifted? Huh? Like oh god. That. Oh my god. When cage lifted, culprit stabbed Tango real fast. So fast, no one saw. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh that's supposed to be Muse. No. So who lifted the cage? Uh, it was me. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Then obviously Himiko is the culprit. That's obviously wrong. There's oh. no did it down. Okay. Tango not being killed during the seance? Impossible. She couldn't have been killed when the cage was open. I'll prove it. When Tanko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. Yes, that is true. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. That is also true. What about moment cage was lifted? No, that's wrong. That's wrong! Because it was on the sheet, they were blowing the sheet, which means she died when the sheet was on her too. No. And she it came wasn't off possible to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. If Tenko was stabbed then, there wouldn't be blood on the cloth. What? But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so, so right? I don't know. <laughs> the only possibility is that Tenko was killed during the sale. I got your remodel oh, what? right here! What? You disagree with us, right? I guess not. No, it's still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. What? I'm gonna prove it right now. My golden brain is gonna go all out! Okay. Okay, rebuttal, what do we have? Um... Tenko died after the seance. It happened when the sheet was lifted. No. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tenko through the cage! They stuck the thin blade through the gaps of the cage. And that clean white sheet got stained blood red! But the weapon was okay. a sickle. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. The blade's all you need. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, It'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Oh my gosh, she's totally gonna turn this into you. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. Oh wait, iron. Whoa, no. She wasn't that far Whoops. from the cage's gaps. I think it's a stone. In which case, the person who lifted the sheet is the culprit, and that's none other than Keo. Yeah, well, I agree with you there. Tenko was sitting down. Yeah. The blade's all you need. No. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. I'll cut through yeah. your words. Cut her neck with like down, because she was in the turtle stance. Wait really called, just right? a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. She was bent over with her forehead against the marker stone. And the cage itself was about three feet tall. The sickle's blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. Then I messed up again? <clears throat> How could this happen? I am so embarrassed. Guess you're not a smarty thought. No worries, Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, even Gonten solved you. Yeah. If Shuichi is right, then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. She couldn't have been killed during the seance since she was in the cage, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. It was not. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Then it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, for a living person. Oh, uh, are we going back on this hole? It's a dead person. Huh? <laughs> what if Angie's spirit killed Tenko? No. What are you talking about? Th that's not possible. <laughs> I feel like he's just saying this to fuck with him. He knows he's we don't know goes. that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a spirit. S don't say stupid stuff like that. S screw spirits. Stop that now. 
Angie's spirit killed Tango? No. But why? Himiko? Why would Angie's spirit kill Tanko? Well, it didn't, but I'm assuming if that was the case, the reason Angie's spirit would, if she did, which she didn't, would be because Tango killed her. What if Tenko killed Angie, and then Angie's yeah. spirit came back for revenge? Like I said, that's impossible! Yeah, no. That Spirits didn't happen, can't be but... Culprits. Yeah. Then explain how the culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. Well... Uh... See? You can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have Wait, done that! Wait! I know! What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? What? If they were in there, they could have stabbed Tenko during the seance. That's inside the cage with... No, we saw Tenko alone in there. No, if there was someone else in the cage, we would have noticed. I agree with Kaito. What? The culprit could have been inside the cage. What? You do? <laughs> Nonsense. There was no space in the cage for the culprit to hide. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What? What? Also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? The they she's referring to. No. I believe Maki is referring to Tenko herself. No. No. What did you say? I don't think so. Are you saying Tenko is the culprit? No. She committed suicide. S suicide? If she committed suicide, it would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. She volunteered to be in the cage, and then stabbed herself during the seance. Mm. It wouldn't matter how dark the room was. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor, yeah. right? Yeah. How did I get all the way there? If Tanko had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cage? Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> Mew actually said something smart! <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that is true. Perhaps that explains why the floorboard was removed. Hmm? After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. But why? That would make sense. So she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Yes, that makes sense to Gonta. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, no. There's no reason for Tanko to commit suicide. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Yeah, I still sort of maybe that was the case as well. Yeah. Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? I mean, not really them fighting with more of Tenko being jealous of Angie. Hey Angie, when did you brainwash Himiko? Tenko's yeah. pent-up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore, so she decided to end her own life. What? But if she was going to kill herself, why do it during the seance? She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. I don't think so. Really? What? Because I feel like... If she did, she would know this would create a class trial, wouldn't she just, like, do it outright or, like, leave a note or something? There could only be one reason to hide it in a killing game, right? It's to take us down with her. Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely the case. Take us down? She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her. No, uh, what? But still. <laughs> I feel like it'd be the opposite. But what if 
What are you saying? Tinko wasn't like that. He told me. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Yeah. What if all of that was just a lie? No, I don't think so. She wouldn't lie to Himiko. Wait! We should believe Tenko's last words! The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? Mm. People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. I mean, yeah. Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? I mean, he does make a point. I still think he's wrong, but he does make some points. Jeez, you're such a naive dude. Naive? <laughs> I feel like he's the opposite. We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. Hmm. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. How? Oh. That's why I believed in Maki Roy, <laughs> because I wanted to believe in her. Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. Oh, true. Calling you out. Hey, come on. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Whether or not I believe, my heart can't reach Tinko anymore. But I want to believe in her. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us yeah. down. That's what I want to believe. That's what I believe too. Me too. Gonta, no can believe Tenko commits suicide. But if Tenko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. I mean, yeah, but that's too easy. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to. Oh, do are so. we gonna do the um split in half thing? A proper or, or not a proper reason? All right, I'll give you a reason. Oh, okay. Is there a reason? I guess there is. Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. Yeah. I mean, she was with us for most of the time. I don't believe Tango would kill herself because of what she said. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Yeah, I'll see you guys after the seance. So she planned to live. Of course, that could have been a lie like a few she said, but she said see you guys after. I doubt she had a sudden change of heart. Just because we don't know how she was killed doesn't mean that it was suicide. We shouldn't be satisfied with that. We keep thinking we'll find the truth. That means we have to believe in Tenko. I'm like the mob believe. Okay. What are we doing? Um, okay, shall Tenko's last moment. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. No. So she hid her true intentions. Tenko's not that kind of person! Yeah. But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle underneath the floor. All the pieces fit. Maybe with the last of her strength? Everyone thinks that Tengu committed suicide. But only because they're latching onto the easiest answer, yeah. She wouldn't have had the strength to throw away. I have so far, so Oh, I have to lie? To the best explanation. Her plan was to take a Did you see he has a lot? Oh shit. 
I'm so assuming I have to lie on one of you at that time. Tinko's not that kind of person! But if Tinko did commit suicide, how am I lying? I hold it. It would explain right. how she died during the seance. Yeah. Oh. She could have secretly brought the sickle. And and stabbed herself with I need to refresh with the buttons so I know what's Finally, with the last. Oh! I'll reveal the truth. I lied with a V. Nice. Perjury. Gotta do it. <laughs> Tenko couldn't have thrown the sickle under the floor because she died instantly. Instantly? Oh shit, wait, doesn't Maki know that she didn't? Her death might not have been instant. But she couldn't have gone far before she got out. I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. Oh, Maki knows though. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Maki got her back? Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important detail. Okay, yeah, she's coming for us. Tenko died instantly. What? As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. <laughs> Why do I feel like he knows that she was lying? Or in the We Are Tale. <laughs> Thank you, Maki. <laughs> She's looking at us like, you better be right about this. How could you forget that, Maki Roll? You better apologize to nope. Shuichi. Don't. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, no, don't, don't, don't book there. It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology Yeah, it, we, we should be thanking her. Anyway. Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Mm -hmm. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Just like I thought. Tanko wouldn't commit suicide. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tanko during the seance. Yes. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar during there the sound? There was the sound. The sound? If you know something, please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Not a bad idea. We should remember what happened to the sound. The sound! Let me try to remember. I'm sure there's something. I need some kind of clue that will help me solve- The sound! It's the sound! Right? I'm assuming that's in our bullets, right? Okay, sound during sound. There Did anything seem out of the ordinary during the seance? There is something that bothers me. Mm -hmm. The fact that the seance failed. Oh my god, not that. The ritual was perfect and yet No, because someone died during it. How utterly strange. Now that I think about it, while we were all singing the song, mm -hmm. I heard something fall. Oh, oh shit! There. I, agree. I couldn't get the V, but I'm glad I still grabbed that. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? Yeah. It sounded like something heavy fell down and hit the floor really hard. What could have fallen down? Fallen down? There wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? No. Am I wrong? I thought something. I fell. mean, it definitely sounded like that. The sound was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. Yeah. The loud sound like someone hit the floorboard. 
Maybe the sound has something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. What? Oh, fuck. Uh, sounds on floorboards is what we're talking about. Oh. Nice circle. Here's marker. Maybe loose floorboards? Oh, crossbeat me? Oh, maybe it's this. It might be this. Nope, 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 you know, okay. Whoops. Okay. Damn it! Okay, it's fine. Um, whoops. Okay, what were we at then? New floorboards. This is it. There. Okay. See, I was like, I knew it was one of them. Again, I knew it was I one of them. The I just clicked the wrong one. Had something to do with that sound. That floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Hmm. Could the floorboard have made such a loud sound, though? Maybe. It was the sound of an intense impact. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. That is true. There would have had to be a strong impact to make that sound. But what was it? What could it possibly be? Alright then, let's go with that. We all gotta put our heads together now. Okay. <laughs> um... Sound on your sand, magic circle, cross the so what made the I feel like now it's cross loose. Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. Tore off the floorboard. No. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. No, because it was on top when it came But on. that statue was still on top of the cage. Yeah. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might! No. But we already said there was no one under the floor! Yeah. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Stomped through the floorboard? A floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. Oh, is that it? God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball! You hardly have any experience with balls to say that to me. <laughs> Don't be stupid! <laughs> Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? <laughs> me and Oh wait, I can- me and Ball are like the best of friends. <laughs> what should I knock? Um, I think it's what Kukichi said. So right? what made the floorboard? I think so. Cause that's the only thing that Miu didn't really like say. No, but that's not possible, right? I mean, she said it was dangerous, sure, but I mean, committing a murder is dangerous. Someone must have stopped through the floorboard. Oh, that's it. Okay, good. I agree. I was 100 percent sure. Also, I kind of wanted to miss just so I could hear Miu say that her and Balls are best friends. Kokichi is right. The floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again yeah, during the investigation. Missing. One of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. After examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Hmm. Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? What did they stand to gain? That's the question. In this case, I need to think careful about the cross piece and floorboard. Oh. Think of this body with that one end of the loose floorboard. And the cross piece that had been cut was on the other end. The unsupported part was outside the cage, and it could have been stomped on. Only one of the cross pieces was cut, the other two were intact. One of them was right under Tenko. And the other was in the center, right about where the edge of the cage was. What was the culprit attempting to achieve by solving the floorboard? Come on, think. Oh, hey man, yeah, but um Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh Oh. 
F. Oh! A. No. E. Ah! E. Um. F. No. Oh, oh. You have another E. I thought it was an A. Um. C. Seesaw? There's a W over here, correct? I think so. No, there's not. Oh, shit. I thought there was. I mean, I'm assuming it's Seesaw. I don't know what else. And unless it's C Saiyan or C Min. Whatever. Um. There's a W. I knew I saw a W. Okay, now what's the fucking other word? Seesaw? Um. Seesaw. Se nope. Uh, seesaw. Nope. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's a bad job just clicking random ones and I don't even know what the letters are. Nope. Nope. Okay, this is bad. Maybe I should stop doing that. I'm losing hearts. Um, seesaw. Effect? E C Yeah, C saw effect, okay. So C saw effect. Okay. That's right. The floorboard might have been used as a seesaw. Why don't I just have the word seesaw then? Why didn't you add effect? Yeah, a seesaw? The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cage. Meaning, if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece, oh, yeah. the next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. Okay. A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. Her whole body lifted up? Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? I don't know. They couldn't have killed Tenko like that, unless they used the sickle. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. Huh? How? In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the sickle is the most important factor. Where was it? The floorboard seesaw, the cage, and the blood on the white fabric. What conclusions can I draw from this? The only place the sickle could have been that is consistent with the evidence. Um, next to the cage, underneath the floorboard, the top of the cage, between the victim and the floorboard. Um, I don't think it's the issue. Between the victim. Nope. Whoops. No, okay, Damn thank it. you. Damn, I suck. Um. That's it. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Again, I knew it was one of those two. I just keep the wrong one. Blade facing down. That's like the third time it happened today. The reason. Oh, we see, see when it said on top, I thought I'm like on top, like with a dog statue. That's why I wasn't so sure about this one. Okay. Also, the wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. But the statue's weight kept it from falling over. Okay. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw... Oh. Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. She was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. Yeah. The six that would do it. sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in a crouched position. But we'll move her up. 
But with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. Bringing the victim to the sickle, rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's definitely an unorthodox idea. Yeah. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. So the sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. That impact make floorboard come loose. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. Wait, what the hell's a seesaw homicide? I don't That's know. You, you're the one who said it. The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? I mean, that is true, yeah. They can't get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Kudos, culprit. You did a great job keeping me entertained. <laughs> Indeed. Well played, Himiko. Yeah? <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. No, it's you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Huh? Why her? See, now that's even more sus, him just outright accusing Himiko. Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. How? What? <laughs> How? The only one? Why is that? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. Oh, By yeah, putting the cross piece the beneath the floorboard, you mean? Mm. Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? I think she just picked randomly, but okay. You're stretching a little bit. Yeah, we already read it up. Yeah, middle. Oh, yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. Mm. You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Oh my Our god! culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. No. Then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. She led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. Sound by it. Now I'm even more sus of you. Then, she killed Tenko. All according to plan. That's a lie, right? Himiko did such a thing? In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? He's wrong, right Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tenko, right? Yeah. Kill Tenko? No. I killed Tenko? Himiko? What's wrong, Himiko? I think she's upset that you're all accusing her of murder. <laughs> is it true that using the middle room was Himiko's idea? I mean, it is true that using the middle room. Does that really mean that Himiko really killed Tenko? Would something like that really happen? Something so cruel? Nah. Your mission? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm going to... End, end it here. Um, yeah, no, it's not Himiko. I'm, now it's confirmed that it's Kyo, because the fact that he just outright accused her like that, like, even though he had a little bit of evidence, it wasn't enough to, like... I mean, I don't believe it, at least. Plus, we're at intermission now, and normally the person who seems most like suspicious at the end of at the beginning of intermission is likely not the killer. So, um, it's not Himiko. It's Kyo. Now I'm certain. Um, and yeah, we're gonna prove that next time. So yeah, that's it.